Okay, now one of the easiest ways to queue up your audio clips for your podcast is to use a really simple and free tool called uh, Pod Producer. And if you go to uh, podproducer.net, uh, you can get the uh, you can download this. It's it's uh, free for a download. And uh, and once you get that, uh, once you get it installed and set up, it's very easy to use. And I'm going to show you right here. Once you've got, uh, once you've uh, opened up the file or open up the uh, program after you've uh, saved it to your desktop and you've run it, now you can go in and you're given you can um, you can add clips to each one of these tracks. Now you'll see right here I've got about six or seven tracks that I can add audio clips. Now I usually don't use that many, uh, but just in case it's nice to have uh, that many set up and. What I want to do if I want to add my uh, bumper music um, to the uh, to the initial clip, which is what we do every time we um, uh, broadcast our podcast, is I would just open up and go to uh, this particular uh, clip, which is our intro music, and then what I'll have oftentimes is I'll have an end of the show clip uh, to play at the very end as we're closing out the segment. So if I pull that volume down, you can listen. You can hear that this is our intro music that we have. And then at the very end, I will run this as we're closing out the show just for some closing music. And you can see kind of, uh, and this is a little bit longer, which I like to play because I like to uh, give us some time as we're talking uh, to have that music play in the background uh, and gives us some, a little bit of time to uh, close out that segment. So, and if I want to add in any uh, news clips or anything like that, if we want to broadcast over our show, if we want to do any sound effects, we can download those and uh, just simply add those to the track. So all of those are queued up. So during the broadcast, all I've got to do is click on each one of these. They're all set up, and I have these usually in a sequence of order if I'm going to have anything in between these uh, these two music clips, if I'm going to have some... Uh, uh, some voice clips or music clips or anything like that. I'll have those just arranged in exact order of how I'm going to play those throughout the uh, podcast segment. So it's very easy to use. Um, you can adjust if you use a mix board you can adjust obviously you can adjust the volume on there but I tend to use so I don't uh, I don't lower the volume on a guest that's coming in through my Skype I tend to use the um, the volume adjustments here on the uh, on the pod producer and it works really well and uh, it's a great little program to use again it's free and you can find it at podproducer.net